Have you ever reached a destination in your journey of life and wondered how the hell you got there? Here I was, on the wrong side of 30, and after a few years of different jobs after leaving the Air Force, I found myself doing what I was doing while I was on the right side of 20. Throughout all the injuries and pain, there was one great thing in my life. Thank God for Debbie. No matter how much I got hurt, Debbie was always there for me, making sure I was looking after myself and that I was never alone. She was the one who convinced me to stop chasing a foolish boyhood dream. So, how did Tony take the news? Well, that's just fucking great! I've got posters all around the fucking town! What am I going to do now, for fuck's sake? Get it out! Oh, you little twat! I think you took it rather well. Hey, Pete's taxis are hiring new drivers. I just want to get to Cardiff and I haven't got any cash for me. Is it okay if I pay you by check? So, taxi driving's not for you then? No. Funny. Oh, I should never have left the Air Force. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Since leaving, I can't even get a job parking car. Oh, it's Ryan. Hang on, I'm gonna... oh, come on, the film is just about to start. I got it. I can't ignore him, can I? Hey, what's going on? Oh, what are you crying for now? Stop it. Slow down. At first, Debbie didn't mind the odd phone call off Ryan but one phone call a day quickly turned into several calls a day. Too many for Debbie to deal with. It's Ryan again. You spoke to him an hour ago. Like, I can't ignore him, can I? Fine, do what you want. Ryan! What is it now? Who knew that trying my best to help my friend started to ruin everything with Debbie? Crying at old movies now, 
So, do you know, drink? I, I have other guts for less. What was that? I, I, I don't think I can carry on with the way things are. What, 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 what's the matter For fuck's sake, every time he rings, you answer the phone. It's all the time. Well, I'm the only one he can talk to. Of course you're not the only one that you, he can talk to. There are other people. Well, like who? His Kaylee can't even fucking understand him. Anyone one can... but you. I'm sorry, but... No, no, I, I have had enough of this. It's, it's, it's continuous. There's always some problem. For fuck's sake, when, you know, can't you see that? Well, they can't ignore him. He's an old friend of mine. Fine, fine. I've had a guts full of this. I'm leaving. What do you mean you've had enough? But, for fuck's sake. And just like that, she was gone. And to be honest, who can blame her? Are you bored yet? Not as bored as me, sat down shining a seat with my ass looking after some rich prick's artwork. Fuck's sake.
No, the gallery opens again at 9am Monday morning. Thank you. After all this time, it still fucking hurts. Not only did I lose Debbie, the love of my life, but I failed to help Ryan. Not long after Debbie left, Ryan took his own life. He was 26 years old, the youngest in our graduation class. Whenever I close my eyes, I can only imagine what he was feeling in his last moments. The letter was from Ryan's wife, Keeley. I recognised her handwriting. I really didn't want to open it, but I knew I had to. The letter said that after cleaning out Ryan's belongings, she found an old suicide note from one of his previous attempts. It appears all of his troubles stem from one man, Frank Shakespeare, our old warrant officer. Now it all made sense. Frank Shakespeare used to run kinky sex parties. There was always a cloud of sleaze around him. As soon as I saw his name in Keeley's letter, I knew this had Shakespeare's dirty hands all over it.
nice. Very nice. It's me. I've checked the kittens over. They're lovely. I like your selection, Donna. I want number one and number five. What is number four? Fourteen. Maybe a little too old for the mare then. <laughs> well, we'll have number four as well then. Fourteen. I can't fucking wait to meet you. What the fuck is it? Typical. After all these years, you're still a dirty prick. Tom Sullivan? I have to be honest, I never thought I'd ever see you again. What the fuck are you doing here, in my house? Ryan Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe? What about him? Last I heard he topped himself. Hell of a mess apparently. Well his wife recently had a clear out. Found a suicide note from one of his earlier attempts. Goes into a whole lot of detail. Mostly about you and the hold you had over him. Like that party where that girl died. And then you forced him to help you hide the body. And what are you going to do exactly? Sutcliffe was fucking weak. And he couldn't handle what he got involved with. He wanted to be there. He cheated on his wife countless times at these parties. With girls younger than the car you're probably driving. You think you can expose me? You think you can expose what I'm part of? I'm part of a global network. Do you hear me, Tommy? You can't take me down. I'm too well connected. And I'm in line for a knighthood. Do you understand me? I know how your mighty flight sergeant fuck is going to... Once I left Shakespeare's, I called the police and handed over Keeley's letter. When they got there, they just assumed Shakespeare had been silenced by his associates. Good riddance, the prick. A wise man once said, The more things change, the more they stay the same. Well, everything's changed, and right now everything stayed the same. It's time to make more permanent plans. Hello, uh, my name's Tom Sullivan. I'm ringing about the uh, job you have advertised, the uh, kitchen technician, the garden attendant, a seaman extractor, the production operator job. Oh, I forgot to mention. After I gave Keeley's letter to the authorities, it totally exposed Shakespeare's lifestyle and also brought closure to the family of the dead girl. He buried her in a shallow grave.
Doing my good deed for the community, he opened the door to rejoin the Air Force. I promptly accepted. Well, that's that. Now all I needed was my two favourite ladies back in my life. My pride and joy had been in storage for over three years. It was time to get her back. for my Hollywood ending. Oh well, where was I? <laughs> <laughs>